Is there any real life use case for Web3? The answer is yes. Some of the biggest companies in the world are adopting Web3. What are these companies and how do they use Web3? That's what we will see in this video. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on In The Blocks, I help you to become a Web3 expert so that you can make more money, gain more freedom and work on projects that you love. So first, let's talk of social media and we're going to focus on Twitter. Twitter is a very important social media because the crypto community is very active on it. So if there is a social media that will first adopt Web3, it's Twitter. And Twitter know this. So in 2022, Twitter rolled out a new feature which allowed users to use an NFT as the profile picture. The crypto user of Twitter quickly took advantage of this new feature and started to show off their expensive monkey NFTs. It was a big success for Twitter. Later that year, Elon Musk took over Twitter. And that was a very positive development because Musk has always been a big champion of decentralization. So right from the beginning, Musk took a very decentralized approach to governance by doing public polls for various decisions, which effectively turned Twitter into a giant DAO. Elon Musk also mentioned being willing to open source the algorithm of Twitter in the future. This hasn't happened yet, but we can see that this is going in the right direction. But the most exciting development is yet to come. I'm talking of crypto payments. Twitter is working on a built-in mechanism to pay creators for their content. At the beginning, this payment system will only accept fiat, but Elon Musk is open to the idea of also accepting crypto later. And given the importance of Twitter in social media, we could see other social media rolling out the crypto payments as well. So next, we're gonna talk of Reddit. On Reddit, there are a lot of people who don't like crypto and NFTs, but not only. According to this meme, Reddit is a Trojan horse for NFT haters, and that's because of a new feature that changed everything. It all started in 2020 when Reddit launched its first Web3 feature, Community Points. Community Points allow community to reward their best users with special points that can be used for different things, like unlocking different privileges or buy things. This was originally deployed on Ethereum and then it was moved to Arbitrum because of the super low transaction cost. In 2021, Reddit launched another Web3 feature, an NFT collection. This NFT collection was based on Snoo, the character used on the Reddit logo. This collection had 40,000 NFTs which were created by independent artists and it was sold on Polygon which make minting and trading cheaper than on Ethereum. And once you buy them, you can show them in your profile pic. And they also give you other advantages. The launch of this feature was a massive success. There is now 3 million crypto wallet on Reddit. And for comparison, OpenSea, which is the biggest marketplace for NFTs, has 1.5 daily active users. And the trading of these avatars has taken off so much that at some point it became the most traded NFT collection on OpenSea. So Reddit has been very smart in their implementation of NFTs that made it very simple for non-crypto users. In fact, these Reddit NFTs were not even called NFTs, they are called collection avatars. Also, there is no need to install any external software to buy them because the wallet of Reddit is built in and it wasn't necessary to have crypto to buy these NFTs, you could just buy them with fiat. So for users, it's completely transparent. It's as if it's another Web2 feature of Reddit. And I think this is the philosophy that we need for mainstream adoption. Then let's talk of Meta. So Meta, formerly known as Facebook, went all in in Web3. They rebranded to Meta. Last year, they rebranded to Meta to build the world's biggest metaverse backed by $70 billion of investment spread over five years. So it's true that a lot of metaverse projects are really vaporware, but for Meta, a big difference is that they have infinite resources and a huge user base. I know that Meta is a company that people love to hate, but like it or not, Meta is going to be a huge actor in the metaverse and in Web3. Next, we're going to talk of Instagram. So Instagram also started to add some Web3 feature. So currently it's only available to a selected group of users, but soon it's gonna be rolled out to everybody. So at the moment, what is being tested is the ability to show NFTs as your profile pic, like on Twitter. And it will also be possible to do NFT minting on Instagram. The metadata will be taken from OpenSea and for storage, a project called Arweave will be used. 
that will be integration with Ethereum, Polygon, and Flow. Overall, I think that Instagram getting into Web3 and NFTs is huge because Instagram is such a visual platform. It's really the perfect platform for selling NFTs. Next, let's talk of how Web3 will be adopted in e-commerce. And we will focus on Shopify, which is the leader for e-commerce SaaS. The take of Shopify for Web3 in e-commerce is the concept of token gated commerce. So with token gated commerce, the idea is that token holders will get early access or exclusive access to limited edition project, product, experiences, and more. And to get access to this, they will have to connect their wallet to your store and prove ownership of an NFT. It will also be possible to mint custom NFTs on popular blockchain like Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, and Flow. Then you will be able to list and sell them right from your store. Shopify also accepts crypto payment thanks to their partnership with CoinPayments, BitPay, and Coinbase Commerce. So I'm super excited about Web3 in e-commerce is gonna be really massive. So next we're gonna talk of Microsoft. Microsoft got into Web3 by providing Web3 infrastructure. So they offer a blockchain as a service in the Azure cloud. And they are also a partner of the Truffle framework. And recently they also got into the metaverse through the acquisition of Blizzard in 2022 for almost $70 billion. Another big tech company that got into Web3 is Amazon. So like for Microsoft, they also offer Web3 infrastructure on AWS. There are more than 70 blockchains that are supported and they cover both public and private blockchain. Then we also have Google, which also offer blockchain infrastructure in their cloud. Then we're going to talk of more traditional company and we're going to start with Walmart. So Walmart started to work with IBM to explore how blockchain could help to better track food supply chain. Walmart is one of the biggest retailer in the US and if they start to adopt blockchain, their suppliers will have to follow as well as competitors. Next, we have JP Morgan that got into Web3. So despite the negative comment of its CEO, Jamie Dimon, so JP Morgan has been one of the earliest big company who adopts crypto. In 2016, they launched Quorum, a private blockchain with use cases for enterprises and finance. Later, JP Morgan created a whole division dedicated to blockchain called Onyx. In 2019, they launched GPM coin, a stable coin that is used internally on a private blockchain to transfer funds more easily between customers of JP Morgan. So Web3 has already some real life use cases and it's only gonna grow. And right now is the perfect time to get into Web3. And the next step is to learn Solidity, the programming language of smart contract. And for that, watch this video on my channel. I will see you there.